So we're back for more Witch's Legacy, Awakened Darkness, Awakening Darkness, okay. And uh, we've got to collect puzzle pieces. Actually, you know what? Let's just do a puzzle, because we can. And it has been a while, so let's do this. We're going to finish her up. Bertha was born in 1725. Her parents died when she was a little girl, and her grandmother took her under her wing. That superstitious woman knew many legends and tales about witches, ghosts, creatures from other worlds, and enchanted items. Little Bertha believed everything she was told. She dreamed about finding an enchanted item or meeting a real witch. That is why the girl often wandered to the forest alone. When Bertha came upon the hut where she found all sorts of ancient artifacts, she lived there and studied magic. That is, until she accidentally turned herself into a ferret. <laughs> oh, that's right, she did it to herself. I see. Okay, so that's good to know. Hello there. What are you doing, teapot? <laughs> what is this supposed to mean? This is crazy. Okay. It's a plate for olives, which could be useful. Okay. I'm not sure how that's going to be useful, but it is. I'll have to wait and find out. I now have a rod. Okay, and little strips here. With a rope, this could be a harpoon. <laughs> what? Okay, what do we do here? What if I attach something that's elastic? I need something sharp, maybe a bone. Rope, rope, it's always a rope. What in the world is this all about? Okay. Am I supposed to be small or something? Oh, this is weird. I mean, the whole game is weird. It makes me wonder, how did they put this game together? The slot looks like a demon. Ooh. Right? Jack, over here. If you get me out, I'll help you get down to the street. Sure, sure. Okay. We can work on that. We must be. We must have been shrunk. We must have been. Look, look at the size of these glasses and the size of this book. You should be holding something. How about a staff? And then we got to change the colors. And he's letting go of this thimble strainer thing. This pipe isn't lit. Okay. F morphing object. What are you? <laughs> <laughs> A gnome? Why are the scissors dancing? Why are the scissors dancing? Why, why? <laughs> no, I'm human. I was cursed by Cassandra. Can you cut out the item attached to the pencil? We do love cutting, but unfortunately, we're a bit rusty. Okay, we're gonna have to deal with all that rust, apparently. Poor thing. The scissors are all rusty. Bertha needs my help. I have to free her. <laughs> okay, I don't know why this teapot's so creepy. Uh, sure. Oh, I bet you this goes here? Oh no, not even close. What was the bread supposed to be used for? And why are they serving fish bones? That feels a little weird to me. Oh, let me add it to the list of weird. I need a lever to move this over. It's almost like it's got a pig face, no? Let's see. 
Haha, I got it. <laughs> oh, jeez. Follow the movement of the cups. Follow, follow, follow. Uh oh. Going faster now. And again. We did it. My Ruby. Yeah, the whole game is definitely a little on the weird side. Absolutely. Now where was I supposed to put this ruby? Oh yeah, for the ring, wasn't it? And I now have a golden snake and a pencil. No thanks to you, dancing scissors. No thanks to you. Huh. <laughs> yes, weirdest playthrough ever. <laughs> Why do I have a snake? Is that supposed to be a... No? Oh, there we go. Oh, yummy. Look at all those tasty treats here. Olives. Yum. Eyeballs, too. Starfish. Dragonfish. Delicious. I'm gonna... Oh, I thought I was going to wear them as boots. What am I squishing these for? Oh, to make olive oil, I bet. Okay. Slurp that up, okay. We just made our own olive oil. Yum. Dancing scissors, go! Dance, dance, dance. What else do you want me to do with you? Uh. Huh. Okay, well, we'll be back. Had a full boyfriend? Yeah. This is a different kind of crazy than Phantasmid 4. Different kind. This is more surreal crazy where Phantasmid 4 was just creepy crazy. Well, apparently we gotta go back here. Uh, we're gonna light the pipe? Sure. Once a year, date a bird. That's a tradition. Smoke it while you got a what? Ah, uh, sure. Uh, okay. Yep. Yep. There you go, ferret. Jack, jump on my back and hang on. We are riding the ferret, people. I'm going to pause here for a moment. We are riding the ferret. Who was a human who turned herself into a ferret? We are riding it. Just think about that for a second. Let that waft into you there. Uh, go. Oh, it's one of these games. Uh, where do I go? Nope, it's a girl. Girl ferret. She's a witch who dabbled and turned herself into a ferret by accident. Ride the ferret, yep. Oh, it's gonna speed up, isn't it? Oh boy. A very long bridge. Well, don't forget, we're tiny, so everything's gonna be long. Go, go, go. Come on, ferret, you can do this. Longest bridge ever. <laughs> we made it to whatever this thing is. Solve every puzzle without skipping. 
Oh yeah, glug 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 that. We are big again, I think. Maybe. We just drunk that strange pink fluid, cause that's, you know, everyone should just drink strange pink fluids. No one can beat me at this game. <laughs> Not even you, brave traveler. Uh, I play you, but this... I'm missing the piece. Okay, but this is just checkers, right? I think anybody can play checkers. Even trees enjoy good music. Okay. Uh, let's see here. The red glass is missing. There are the. These are the roots of the tiny tree. Okay. Well, I guess we should go up here. Idle. Ah, uh, oh, I see, okay. How many idols are there? Oh, one more. Stars! Collect all the stars, please. Oops, four stars left, holy cow, all right. One there. Butterflies are probably next. Butterflies called it! Man, I've been playing too many of these games. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I called that. Jeez. I need to retire. I need to just play Handful Boyfriend for like a month. What do you think? Should I play that game for a month? Don't do any Hopa games for a whole month. Just do Handful Boyfriend. All of the endings. All of the characters. <laughs> and by the end of the month, we'll see how many people no longer like your Gibbs. <laughs> or maybe we'll have new followers if I do that. I don't know. Birds, please. Hello, Craven. Some lovely music, though. You know, all jokes aside, the uh, the music in this game is really nice. Apparently, that's a bird right there. Yeah, we'll weed out the non-believers if I do that. Possibly. It's a test to see if you guys are real fans or not. <laughs> Uh, birdie, birdie, where are you? Silver Mist says, no, Gibbs, no! <laughs> Moonstone? It's a Moonstone. Is that where this goes? No. It's still raining from the mushrooms. So what am I supposed to be doing here? Enjoying good music, okay. Yes, yeah, so all the wifeys. Well, I'm definitely supposed to be on the scene, but I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Apparently I have some, oh, I didn't even know you were even here. Holy cow. A very special bow would look great here. Maybe a bird can help me get rid of the rope. Chew on that for a bit. Yeah. Go, go, go. Eat that rope. <laughs> Ooh, all of the veggies here. And the cheese. Oh my gosh, we've needed that cheese forever. Let's go way back here. There you go, Mousy. Catch the cheese. Oh wow, it ate all the cheese. Why is there, why is there, 
Why? Why is the mouse radio controlled? Why? That seems so random. Okay, bonsai tree. Uh, still need to figure out what to put on top here. Need something extra. Huh. Wait a minute. Oh wow, there's still all this to do too. Let's do this. Cheese and egglets. Yeah, cheese and eggs make great omelets. Yum. No, that's not it. So, I think... No, uh, I don't think that goes there. Oh, it does too. Oh, wow. It could be hallucinations. I have no idea. Tamper, I think... No, oh, actually, I have no idea. Looks like a moon slot. A moon seed. Hmm. We're going to be growing that, aren't we? <laughs> yes, why did the electric mouse eat the cheese? I have no idea. It's all kind of crazy. Everything about this game is crazy. Crazy good! Apparently we have to go back here for a particular reason. Moon seed? Oh, okay. Wow, we just made lava. <laughs> we just now we get to play checkers, so it's all good. Checkers time. We're gonna do this. Destroy all of the opponent's checkers. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're playing checkers. Oh, I don't know if I want to do checkers. Who wants to do checkers? Oh boy. Uh. Oh, I have to jump? Oh, man. Forcing these rules on me. I can't live this way, game. Oh, boy. Forcing me to jump again. Yucky checkers is yucky. Uh... Wait a minute. I have to jump. Oh... Okay. Not sure I like this. Check us. Oh, you're gonna force me to jump, aren't you? I'm gonna jump right through here. Haha, -ha, now you're gonna king me. Oh wait, no, first we'll do this. And then I'm gonna protect my... Oh, he jumped me, no! Let's move this guy up here. Uh, if I move that there, he'll jump and then I'll jump. And we'll all jump together. Let's move that like that. Uh, ooh, I can't jump there either. King me, yes! Check us! We are totally doing this checkers. Oh yeah. Hop, skip, and king me again. Oh, can I jump backwards? Oh, hello. Hello. Checkers for days. Ha 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 ha. I got you, checkers. Come on. You got nowhere to go. Wait, why is he able to do this? Why can he skip? That's not fair. Oh, I have to go. Oh, I can go and king me. I'm not sure I understand why this guy can skip turns. I didn't know that a king can make a big move like that. Is that true that the when you king them, they can make a big long move like that? Oh, because you can't go backwards, is what you're saying. So what, I'm supposed to, like, leave him here so that he can get kinged? Uh, sure, why not? Oh, I just realized I screwed up here. Let's move this here. Oh, ouch! And you're dead. You're dead! 